Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about VMware Workstation Encryption, or Access Control as they call it, and that'll um, allow you to encrypt your virtual machine and prevent people from making changes without a password and some other stuff. So on this one called Windows 10, I have it turned off, so if I go to the settings of that VM, and then options, you can see it's, oops, there it is, Access Control is not encrypted. If I click on encrypt, it's going to want a password for the encryption. And if you forget this password, you're out of luck because there's no way to get it back. And then once you click on encrypt, it'll take a little while to go and encrypt everything and then things will look normal again. But you won't be able to make any changes unless you put in this password. Once you're already in there and you put in the password, you could do you know stuff as usual. But if you open it up new or somebody else opens it up, then they're not going to be able to do anything if they don't know the password. So let's go to this one here, Windows 10 Pro 2, which has the encryption turned on. See what it looks like. So it's encrypted, so you can either change the password or remove the password. So another thing you could do with this encryption is lock down your VMX files, and these VMX files are configuration files where you could go in and change settings for your VM. So if you go to your VMX files, so this is the one that's not encrypted, so you just find the directory where your VM files are located and find your VMX file. You could open it with Notepad or something similar. Now you can see you can see all the settings and you can go through and change them and resave and so on. So if we go to the one that's encrypted, VMX, where'd you go? There you are. You could see it's all a bunch of gibberish and it's encrypted so you're not going to know what to change anyways if you, if you wanted to. So now, now that we have that going here, let's uh, shut down VMware Workstation and let's reopen it. See how it asks for a password? So if I put in the password, and now I could go ahead and, you know, go to my settings and change it and so on. So now let's see what happens if we close that tab, leave it on the one that's not encrypted and close it. And reopen. So it goes right to it because it's not encrypted. So if we go to this one, see it has a lock now, and then we click on it, then we need to put in the password to set it. Yeah, so it's a nice little tool to, to have there. So if you ever want to keep somebody out of your shared uh, VMware workstation environment, and that way they don't mess up your virtual machines or make any changes without you knowing, just like I said, be sure you remember that password or write it down because if you lose it, then you're not going to get it back and you're not going to be able to uh, use your VM anymore. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.